Ever wondered how a single family can have unimaginable wealth and influence, leaving a permanent mark on the books of history? Well, you're in for a great experience. Meet the Rothschilds, the world's richest family and a name that has echoed through the corridors of power, finance, and conspiracy theories for centuries. Rumor has it they're sitting on a jaw-dropping $2 trillion, with an annual income that could make your head spin at a staggering $390 billion. To add some more dazzle to the picture, the Rothschilds own more than 1,800 luxury mansions and a fleet of over 100 private jets. This isn't the stuff of fiction, it's the real deal, and we're about to dive deep into their story. Now, you might be wondering, why should I care about the Rothschilds? That's a great question, and it leads us to the heart of our topic. The Rothschild family isn't just historically rich, they are also shrouded in mystery, intrigue, and global finance. So, whether you're a history buff, a finance enthusiast, or just a curious mind, this video has something for everyone. To start, ladies and gentlemen, the Rothschilds didn't just one day suddenly have a lot of money. Their path to becoming extremely rich unfolded over many years and centuries thanks to their smart investments and financial skills. They are a powerful family of bankers, generous givers, and business people with their roots in Europe. The basis of their enormous wealth and influence comes from their banking and financial business, along with their clever investments in different industries. The Rothschilds have been shaping the world for over 200 years, and they've made a name for themselves as one of the most important families worldwide. From their successes in the banking and finance sector to their strong influence over governments, the Rothschilds represent success and wealth. Their wealth is a direct result of their strong position in the financial world, along with their ability to predict and take advantage of changes in financial markets. This, along with a vast network of international connections, has allowed them to stay at the forefront of global finance. The History of This Iconic Family Now, let's go back in time to understand how the Rothschilds became such a well-known family. It all started in 1744 when Meyer Amschel Rothschild was born in Frankfurt, Germany. He was the son of Amschel Moses Rothschild, who was a money changer and known for his dealings with the Prince of Hesse. Meyer Amschel began his career as an apprentice in a banking house, and it didn't take long for him to become a banker himself. His sharp mind and business skills laid the foundation for his empire. Meyer sent each of his five sons, Amschel, Nathan, Jacob, Solomon, and Carl, to five major European financial hubs expanding their reach. As wars raged across Europe, the Rothschild lent money to warring leaders, including trading important goods like wheat, cotton, colonial products, and weapons. This diversification strategy proved to be a lucrative business for the family, allowing their wealth to grow significantly. They further expanded their investments into coal, oil, real estate, and even wine, diversifying their wealth portfolio. Apart from their role in funding wars, the Rothschilds made significant contributions to the growth of nations by financing infrastructure projects and industrialization. They played a crucial role in funding the construction of railroads, canals, and other essential infrastructure projects across Europe. The Rothschilds recognized the potential of railways early on and invested heavily in this transformative technology. Their financial support accelerated industrialization, enabling the movement of goods, people, and ideas across Europe. They financed the construction of railways that connected cities and facilitated trade, contributing to the economic development of the continent. One of their unique business strategies was to invest heavily in the stock of companies during economic downturns, staying ahead of the curve and securing the best returns. Their clever business dealings and the ability to make mutually beneficial deals for themselves and their clients were well recognized. Meyer Amschel also employed a strategy similar to royal intermarriage of the time to keep the wealth within the family. He arranged marriages among his sons, often to first or second cousins. While this practice declined in subsequent generations, these marriages weren't outside aristocracy or other financial dynasties. The Rothschilds also made their mark in transportation, communication, and energy networks, revolutionizing the way people communicated and traveled. They were involved in significant business deals, including the Suez Canal and the Union Pacific Railroad, their legacy is still evident today, serving as an inspiration for generations of entrepreneurs and financiers 
who aim to match their standards of prudent investment, diversification, and risk management. Now, let's address the intriguing myth that the Rothschilds own 80% of the world's wealth. It's essential to note that these claims are merely conspiracy theories with no factual basis. So, what do we know about how they manage their vast wealth? The Rothschilds started as a small trading company and expanded over the years into various businesses, including merchant banking, private banking, asset management, acquisitions and mergers, insurance, venture capital, pensions, investments, sovereign debt, and commodities. Their wealth is astounding. The Rothschild family owns 1,800 mansions worth a staggering $36 billion, 25 yachts, and several private jets. On top of this, they have a $100 billion fund used for global stock market investments, including the New York Stock Exchange, the London Stock Exchange, and Tokyo. They also hold reserves in US dollars, Japanese yen, and euros, amounting to billions of dollars. Their investment portfolio is a diverse one, including top-performing stocks such as Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Starbucks, Visa, Bloomberg, Bank of America, Qualcomm, Johnson Namp Johnson, Pfizer, Hewlett Packard, Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan Chase, PepsiCo, and many more. You will be surprised to know that their long-term investments in these very stable companies have been incredibly profitable, adding to their continuously growing wealth. But that's not all. The Rothschilds are also major players in the wine industry. They've been involved in winemaking for over 160 years and control over 70% of the total wine sold in Europe. Their wine sales alone generated over $16 billion last year. They own multiple vineyards in Italy, France, South America, South Africa, and Australia. Interestingly, they also provide wine to the Vatican for free, a mix of novelty and nobility. As we delve deeper into their financial interests, it's worth noting that the Rothschild family controls over 25 banks and investment companies worldwide. They have ownership stakes in 8 out of 10 giants in the financial world. Their very own bank, NM Rothschild & Sons, specializes in mergers and acquisitions. They also own a financial holding company, Paris Orlin SA, and the Rabobank Group in the Netherlands, which is a leading private and investment bank. During the 19th century, NM Rothschild & Sons operated in major European financial centers, including London, Paris, Frankfurt, Vienna, and Naples. The firm's influence was so extensive that they were instrumental in financing the construction of major infrastructure projects, like railroads and canals, across the continent. One of the most remarkable stories from the Rothschild family's history is their role in funding the Duke of Wellington's army during the Napoleonic Wars. They used their unique courier system to gain an information advantage, which allowed them to make smart investments in British bonds when they knew of Napoleon's defeat, earning them significant profits. Moving forward from this, Paris Orléans SA has also come a long way since its inception. Originally founded as a regional bank in the city of Orléans, it has expanded significantly over the years. By the 1970s, it had grown to become a national player in France's banking industry. In the late 1990s, Paris Orléans SA embarked on an international expansion journey, extending its reach to various countries and regions. Paris Orléans SA's impact on the financial world has been immense. It has played a significant role in funding and supporting various industries, contributing to economic growth and stability. Furthermore, it has been instrumental in promoting sustainable finance practices and investments, making a positive impact on environmental and social issues. Over the years, Paris Orléans SA has received several awards and recognitions for its contributions to the financial sector and its commitment to responsible banking. Its innovative financial products and services have garnered the trust and loyalty of a diverse clientele. Now, let's shift our focus to Rabobank Group, a global financial powerhouse. Rabobank is a Dutch multinational banking and financial services group with a rich history dating back to the late 19th century. The group is renowned for its cooperative banking model and its emphasis on sustainability and social responsibility. Rabobank Group's story begins in the Netherlands, where it was established as a cooperative agricultural bank. Over the years, it expanded its operations both within the Netherlands and internationally, becoming a major player in the global banking sector. Today, Rabobank Group serves clients in various sectors, including agriculture, food, and banking services.
Over the years, Rabobank Group has received numerous awards and recognitions for its dedication to sustainability and responsible banking. It has also been recognized for its commitment to social and environmental issues, both in the Netherlands and worldwide. And ironically, these ventures are the only few ones of all the things this family does to make money. Going forward, their impact on the financial, social, economic, and political scenes is so significant that it's almost tempting to think they possess all of Europe. But as we explore the extravagant life of the Rothschilds, we can't help but wonder how the world's royal families feel about their lavish lifestyle. The Rothschilds are not satisfied with just managing their extensive banking business. They also enjoy life to the maximum. Let's take a closer look at some of the extravagant and lavish purchases they make. It's well known that the very wealthy and yachts go together, and the Rothschilds are no different. Their Planet 9 super yacht, owned by Nat Rothschild, is an excellent example of their luxurious taste. Valued at an astonishing $102 million and constructed in 2018, this 240-foot vessel features cutting-edge facilities, including a landing pad for helicopters, a beach club, and a spa with luxurious interiors designed by top German interior designers. It can accommodate up to 16 guests and a crew of 26 members. However, when Nat Rothschild isn't cruising the seas, he rents it out for an astounding $725,000 per week during the peak season, dropping to $650,000 in the winter. Tomutan Rothschild, where the family makes its exceptional wines, is another valuable asset in their extensive portfolio. Covering 222 acres, this property alone is valued between $150 and $200 million, not including the value of the wine production. Rothschild Cabernet and Sauvignon wines are sold at a substantial price of $700 per bottle, making them a choice for those with a truly refined taste. Now, let's explore another splendid estate from the Rothschild collection. Wadisdon Manor, situated in the village of Wadisdon, Buckinghamshire, England, was built for Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild and his family in 1877 for $1.8 million. Over the years, the property's value has risen to an astounding $250 million. This grand mansion features stunning architecture and houses a variety of expensive paintings and other antique treasures. It also has a museum that welcomes an impressive 460,000 visitors each year. Within the mansion, you can find remarkable artifacts including a writing desk created for Marie Antoinette and a gold bracelet given by Queen Victoria to the Rothschilds. With 25,000 antiques and artworks, this mansion is just one of their 1,800 luxurious properties. But real estate is not the only assets that the Rothschilds possess. They also have a significant stake in numerous businesses worldwide. One of their most profitable ventures is Agora Oil & Gas, which was purchased by Lord Rothschild for a staggering $370 million. Given the world's increasing reliance on oil and gas, Agora Oil and Gas is now worth an astronomical $1.4 billion. It's safe to say that the Rothschild children probably started their math lessons with billion-dollar figures instead of counting from one to four. Like many other wealthy Europeans, the Rothschilds have a deep passion for art. Their taste is well known for being excellent. Their extensive art collection includes beautiful objects made from gold and silver, as well as impeccably designed furniture. They also own a wide range of vintage pieces dating back to the 16th and 17th centuries. The Rothschilds don't stop at material wealth. They also invest in a variety of extravagant experiences. Their love for the finer things in life is evident in their lifestyle, which is associated with luxury and opulence. From exclusive parties to extravagant travel, they spare no expense to ensure their lives are filled with excitement and extravagance. One of the most lavish parties the Rothschilds are famous for is their annual summer ball, which is held at Wadisdon Manor, one of their many luxurious properties. This grand event features breathtaking fireworks displays, live music, and a guest list that includes the world's elite. It's a celebration of excess, where no cost is spared to ensure that guests have an absolutely unforgettable experience. The Rothschilds understand that life is meant to be enjoyed, and their parties show their commitment to living life to the fullest. Also, it is safe to say that among the different Rothschild generations, Nathan Rothschild's smart planning stood out. Nathan, the third son of Mayor Amschel Rothschild, moved to Manchester, England in 1798 to start a textile business. Later, he switched to banking, starting N.M. Rothschild in 1810. 
this bank played a crucial role in lending money to the British government during tough times like the Napoleonic Wars, funding British troops and the war effort. Nathan Rothschild's financial skills also led to the founding of the Alliance Assurance Company in 1824. This company, now part of the RSA Group, is worth about $127.5 billion today. In 1852, Nathan secured the rights to mercury mines in Spain, which were important for refining gold and silver. This smart purchase turned out to be very profitable. In 1852, N.M. Rothschild and Sons began refining gold and silver for the Royal Mint and the Bank of England. Nathan Meyer Rothschild's ability to see the future extended to the real estate sector as he built Gunnersbury Park in 1835. This estate, initially bought for $70,000, later increased in value to an impressive $132 million, showing Nathan's ability to plan for the long term. The Rothschild family and giving the Rothschild family has left a lasting mark on the world, not just through their huge wealth, but also through their generous charitable efforts. They set up a big network of charitable trusts and foundations focusing on health and education in many countries. Their charitable efforts covered a wide range of initiatives, from medical research and educational grants to support for the arts, culture, and help for those in need. The family didn't just give money, they actively participated in their charitable projects, including dental clinics, public libraries, swimming pools, orphanages, grants, soup kitchens, and hospitals. Supporting education was a top priority for the Rothschilds. They supported the Jews' free school in London and established the 4% Industrial Dwellings Company, Limited in London, and the Rothschild Foundation in Paris for social housing purposes. The family also played a significant role in helping Israel's early economic success by starting colonies for Jewish settlers, introducing new crops, and investing in various business ventures. The Rothschilds' charitable efforts went beyond giving money. They donated about 60,000 pieces of artwork to public institutions. Their creativity and charitable giving knows no bounds, making them stand out not just for their wealth but for their innovative and considerate charitable contributions. The Rothschilds in the 20th and 21st century. The 20th and 21st centuries have seen the Rothschild family face various challenges and changes. The family's great wealth remains a topic of speculation, as they have not shared their true financial figures. However, they continue to be very wealthy, despite changes in their fortune due to wars, politics, and family dynamics. In the 20th century, some branches of the Rothschild family faced challenges. The Naples branch of the bank closed in 1863 due to a lack of male heirs, while the Frankfurt branch closed in 1901. The Vienna branch shut down in 1938 following the Nazi invasion of Austria, and the Vichy government in France took over Rothschild properties during the war. The Nazis also stole millions of dollars worth of art and other valuable items from the Austrian branch of the family. Some of these artifacts were returned to the family in 1998. In 2008, the family reorganized all their holdings under a single company, bringing together the businesses started by Meyer Amschel. Rothschild's five sons spread across Europe over two centuries. The Rothschilds continue to invest in various industries, including oil, banking, real estate, and agriculture. Their great wealth gives them a unique advantage in taking advantage of opportunities and market trends. The younger generation of the Rothschild family is making a name for themselves in various fields. James Rothschild married Nikki Hilton, the great-granddaughter of hotelier Conrad Hilton and the sister of Paris Hilton. Another Rothschild descendant, David Rothschild, is an environmental activist in California, known for his efforts to raise awareness about environmental issues. Despite limited business involvement in the U.S., many Rothschilds have lived there and some family members have been part of high-profile marriages and divorces. The Rothschild family continues to grow their wealth and influence, guided by principles of hard work, discipline, and consistency. The Future of the Rothschild Family The future generations of the Rothschild family don't need to worry about their financial status, as long as they follow the same principles and passion that have sustained the family's wealth for generations. Their ability to invest wisely and think long-term has been key to their success.